I'll go to my solutions. Uh, I'll go to my record management, which is E5 functionality, uh, just in case. And if I talk about the sensitivity labels automatically, that's E5. If I talk about the, the retention labels automatically, all are um, E5 functionality. I'll go to the policy. Uh, uh, I'll go to my file plan to create a retention label. Uh, so record management will be, uh, you know, on top of the retention label. So they are built up on top of the retention label itself. So I would say uh, record for five years for an example. Next, I will say retain items uh, forever or for a specific period of time. I would say I need to retain for let's say five years uh, when the item is created. And next, it will leverage me whether I want to define this as a record. So when I say yes, I want to define this as a record. So that means once I apply this record uh, onto a document, uh, it is some sort of uh, you know, imitable. I mean, you know, nobody would be able to change it. Uh, nobody would be able to uh, delete it. Uh, for an example, if I go to my ECS, I create my document. Let's say I name the document as uh, record. I say close it. I refresh the screen. I have record here and now I need to classify or now I need to apply uh, the label. I'll go in here. I say apply the label and the label going to be a uh, record for seven years. And then it is locked. You see the lock sign here? That's been locked. If I try to delete this, let's say I delete it. I cannot delete it. I just cannot delete it. Now let's see if there is a business contract written down. And obviously if I try to open it, I would only be able to view this in a view mode or a read mode. I cannot even make the changes. So I cannot just make the changes here as well. So I'm just typing from my screen and I'm not able to make any sort of changes because it's in a readable format. I go next. Let's say I want to change the terms and condition in the contract. I go next here. You have this lock button. I say unlock. I now open the contract. I can make the changes now. Now I can say change one for an example and change is made. I just close it and then I go back and lock it again. Even if I if it is this is locked, I can still not delete it. So if I try to delete it when it is unlocked, I cannot still delete it. I cannot. Then I lock it. So both lock and unlock, I just cannot delete it. It's some uh, sort of uh, integration error, but users who have contributor and more rights would be able to lock and unlock the document and every time they do so uh, the record will be created into the unified audit log as well so you know who is changing sharepoint owner or the admin of the site would be able to change the label from record to any other so if i go in here now this is my record if i want to make the change and say no i don't want to configure this as a record that was my mistake it should be retained for five years i can do that and now if I try to delete, I can delete it. So let's say uh, delete, I would be able to delete it. But now I do have a retention policy on top of my SharePoint. So it will be going to a preservation hold library. So that's one of the fine example of the record. Now, apart from that, you have a regulatory record. Regulatory record is not available by default into your tenant. So that's this one. You have to only enable via partial. So if you go to your tenants, you might not find it because you haven't enabled from um, the partial. Once the label is created, you cannot delete it. You can only increase the retention period and hence it will give you the one. If you apply this label onto a document, let's say I will go in here. I would say, for an example, I will rename this.
And then you have regulatory here. I'll apply the regulatory label. It will give me the warning again that are you sure you want to apply that? Because once you apply the regulatory label, uh, nor you, nor admin, nor global admin would be able to change it. It will be completely freezed out. So if I go in here, so it's a regulatory record, it will offer me the warning. Um, after it's been applied, you won't be able to make any sort of edit or change it, or nobody would be, even if you are a global admin, you would, won't be able to make the changes. I say apply. Now the label is applied. Lock is always locked. I cannot unlock it. And even if I'm a global admin, I cannot change the label for next five years or seven years, whatever I have defined within the regulatory record. So even I cannot change it now. It's been completely freezed out uh, for next five to seven years, whatever time span you have mentioned into, into uh, the, the settings. So that's around the record management. But however, if I talk about the record management, if I say cancel, I say re retain, uh, I say next, you can start a disposition review. What will happen uh, once the retention period will be lapsed? Like what will happen after the five years has been lapsed? You can say, okay, after five years, do not delete anything, do not do anything. Rather send an email to a reviewer to review the document. And the reviewer will receive an email uh, and he would have three options, either to change the label, saying that, okay, I still want to retain it, go from uh, you know A to B, delete the confirmation or extend the retention period saying okay no i still want to retain this for next six weeks uh six months so that's that's possible so that's the disposition review apart from that you also have one more hidden gem here uh, which is based upon the event uh, so let's say one of the fine example for this is uh let's say you have a user who is leaving the organization and your organization would have the obligation uh, to retain the content uh, for one year once the user will leave. So that means let's 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 imagine the user is leaving on 30th of October, and from 30th of October, uh, you have to start one year retention period. And then in that case, you would be creating uh, the retention label as event. So you will apply this to a document, and once the event will start, so that's 30th of October. From that day, uh, the document will be retained for one year.